Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of CJ's Coins and Crafts. Um, this is going to be uh, kind of another mail call that I got. Uh, this big giant box is uh, something I got from Blue's Coins. Um, that uh, he uh, he kind of told me that hey, he said, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna send something to you," and uh, and 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 here you go. Um, and he did. So I got this giant box, and uh, and I opened it, and this is what was inside. So, um, a lot of you guys probably know um, the name Kevin Flynn. Uh, Kevin Flynn was uh, author of a bunch of authoritative references, um, such as, say, the authoritative reference on um, Two Cents, like this one right here. It was also written by Ken, uh, Kevin Flynn. Um, so, he did a lot of um, authoritative references. Um, on a lot of different coins, uh, so uh, I saw that this one was a a, a good one, um, and it's one that I had kind of been talking about a little bit, uh, just because I wanted to start kind of building a collection from uh, of co tokens and coins from the different commemorative um, series, the the world fairs, the expositions, those kinds of things, uh, just because there's a lot of history in those uh in, in those events and uh i thought a reference would uh would really just just help that so um so some of the things um that i think is really interesting um in some of this book uh so it gives you um like the name the purpose um the authorized mintage um and it'll it actually tells you how many were struck how many were essay pieces um basically like test pieces um, any that were melted proof and then the net so that's that's something that is kind of really really interesting um, because some of these coins um, that had a an authorized midges were struck and then later melted um, and that's why that some of these are a lot rarer to find um, so it's got kind of the the designer the designs it goes through and it talks about the design um, it talks about kind of the, the a little bit of history of them it's got uh, some auction results, some certified populations. Um, but here's something that I thought was really interesting on this book specifically. Um, in each of these sections, it actually gives you wear points. So if you were going through and you were going to kind of grade out um, a commemorative coin, um, this is a great reference because it tells you where the high points are it tells you where the wear points are on the obverse and the reverse of the coin um, so that's really great information uh, when it comes to learning some of the individual pieces about these coins it talks about striking um, distribution any comments current values as the uh, as of the time of the printing of this book um, the origin I mean th there's there's a lot of good information about these um about these and even on some of them like if there is a um like this one i believe is a um here we go san diego california pacific exposition half dollar 1935 1936 um if there's any known doubled dies this book also lists those and has pictures of the doubled um so this is ddo number one for the 1935s um so like I'm really stoked to get this book um, and so that I can kind of get into it and figure out and just and just you know research these coins that uh, you know that I do anyway so I want to say uh, I want to say thank you to blues um, for sending this to me um, I really appreciate it uh, this book is ginormous it is 359 pages long so I anticipate that it's gonna take me a minute or two uh, to go through this book um, but yeah blues I, I want to thank you I, I really appreciate it um, you and I go back and forth on uh, about g getting the same books or getting you know just piles of books about coins that we don't even have and that's okay because it aids in the research and it aids in the knowledge that we gain um, from getting these books so again I want to say thank you uh, I want to say thank you to everybody for taking the time to watch this video and um, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.